Alrighty, okay, so I'm gonna be doing a video today on Cedar Fair's coaster predictions for the parks that Cedar Fair owns. I'm gonna be using a little bit, I guess mostly what I learned in the Cedar Fair stockholders call, and apply it almost in a Sudoku method um, with elimination and just kind of some things that I know. So we'll start it right off the bat. We know that Dorney Park is going to most likely get a coaster in 2024. Um, Cedar Point is going to get their top little dragster uh, renovation in 2024 as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and predict that Carowinds is going to get a coaster in 2024. Now this was a bold prediction for me. I did not feel comfortable putting Carowinds in here, but it's funny because I did. So at the end of the day, I really think Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland were supposed to or going to share a coaster year of 2025. That's what I really concrete thought in my head. But then when I started playing around with the parks and the Sudoku method, it only made sense that Carowinds was a year ahead. So how I'm doing it is almost essentially like one major park gets one $30 million, $35 million coaster every year. That seems to be what Cedar Fair is doing. 35 30 million dollar 25 million dollar coaster at one of their big parks every year and every year one of the big parks will get a coaster now that sounds funny because you see knott's spray farm ken is one on cedar point kind of overlapping in 2025 2026 we'll talk about that so i had to move carowinds a year ahead to 2024 we're seeing a little bit of action with their rapids ride so maybe they're going to finally see a gci or a Gert Slower or a dive coaster pop up in that plot of land for 2024. Only time will tell as the 2023 season starts and we look for signs of construction. In 2025, I think King's Dominion will finally get that replacement um, coaster for the Volcano Blast coaster. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a really expensive coaster. I think it's going to be like $10, $15 million coaster. And I know that Canada's Wonderland is due for a coaster in 2025. So that'll be the $30, $35 million coaster. Now, if Canada's Wonderland's coaster isn't the $30, $35 million coaster that I'm anticipating, um, and it's a little cheaper, I could see Knott's Bray Farm being squeezed into 2025 as well. With that being said, I think Knott's Berry Farm will see a coaster sometime in 2026, possibly 2025. Valley Fair, I think, will finally get a coaster after their infrastructure upgrades in 2026. That's going to be my prediction for Valley Fair. I think they're due for one. I think it'll be a good $10 million, maybe $15 million coaster for Valley Fair. I could see it being a GCI, um, or if that's not the case, uh, maybe even... Uh, I mean, it, it, the predictions for Valley Fair are endless, and I'm not one to predict exactly what kind of coaster would be coming to a lot of these parks. I don't know much uh, when it comes to coaster manufacturers and what the parks are needing. So comment down below. Valley Fair is one of those parks that are in desperate need of investment. So if you're a fan of Valley Fair, comment down below what you think could be the realistic option for Valley Fair, because I'm interested. I want to know, and I want to read about it. Um, so I do think Knott's Berry Farm will get a coaster. It's really hard to predict Knott's Berry Farm because of spacing. Um, that B&M Giga rumor and all that I think was a little wild. I can't see it financially um, happening, um, especially with city planning and all that, but we'll see. I, again, aggressively think Cedar Point will get a coaster in the Forbidden Frontier location or the Corkscrew location um, at Cedar Point. So we could possibly hear a ride removal for Corkscrew um, sometime soon. And I think that would lead to a coaster replacement in its location or Forbidden Frontier. And I personally think that Cedar Point is going to go down the GCI route. They really need a wooden coaster now and it would fill that gap and they could be build a really nice GCI coaster. So definitely uh, am looking at a GCI for Cedar Point, possibly in 2026. When it comes to 2027, I am predicting Kings Island will either get a world record breaking dive coaster um, or maybe even a wing coaster something along those routes uh, definitely not a gci um, or gravity group i am definitely going to go down the steel route uh, so maybe even an intamin launch coaster who knows um, they do have flight of fear but they could go down the route of a Velosa coaster style coaster so uh, we'll definitely keep our eyes there i definitely think king's island is going to be one of the parks that either get a wing coaster or a dive coaster and if they do get a dive coaster i think they will take the records from wonderland and if that's not the case then they'll probably go down the intamin multi-launch uh category uh, i do think that canada's wonderland will see a family kids coaster in 2027 or 2028 again you're going to see a lot of predictions for canada's wonderland they are under an aggressive growth 
um, development plan right now. I can confirm that. So uh, you could see even the, the basement of the mountain develop a Winterfest style coaster um, that can be open for Winterfest. So that could be it too, a family coaster down there. It will be something cheap, like 10 to $15 million. It won't be anything expensive. Michigan's Adventure, I could see them getting a eight to $10 million coaster sometime in 2027 or 2028. Um, and Carowinds will definitely see another coaster in 2028, whether that be a family coaster or another thrill coaster. It's really hard to predict. I can't predict it. But again, the spacing of the big parks just makes sense. I really think I figured this out. Comment down below if you think I am onto something here. I, I think that obviously I'm probably going to get a couple of these wrong, but I think I'm on to a pretty good timeline of the big park versus small park investments up here. In 2029, I think that Cedar Point will obviously get another coaster. Again, it'll be either in Forbidden Frontier or Corkscrew's plot of land. Um, those are the two areas that I really think that Cedar Fair could develop at Cedar Point. Um, so I'm going to be looking to those two areas. And if it's a GCI or wasn't a GCI, I could see them going down. It's really difficult because they have Maverick. Um, but I could see them building a, a, an Intamin multi-launch again. Um, again, that's a really hard prediction because one, the restraint on um, the electrical grid uh, for a park like that, uh, having so many launch coasters. I, I could see that. I, I really think it would do well a really big thing, but it essentially it would just be a bigger Maverick. Um, I, it's a really hard park to predict for. Honestly, what do you guys think? Comment down below again for Cedar Point. What do you guys see in Cedar Point's future for coasters? I definitely see a GCI, but outside of that, what else could Cedar Point build? And King's Dominion. I think King's Dominion could see another coaster around the 2029 timeline. Anyways, what do you guys think about my six year plan for Cedar Fair? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you agree about and what do you disagree about? Definitely wanna hear from you guys down, down below. Again, when it comes to Canada's Wonderland, I'm pretty confident in my predictions up there. Um, and then we know 2024. So I was just playing Sudoku with the rest of the parks um, and spacing out the bigger parks and also taking into account their past history of coaster layout timelines. Cedar Fair is entering an aggressive timeline in investing in coasters again. Um, so uh, you will start seeing more coasters than we have seen in the past and especially through COVID. So this may look aggressive to a lot of us right now with how many parks and the types of parks that you're seeing reoccurring, but I promise you, you're gonna start seeing some coaster investments at a lot of these parks and some of the medium sized parks as well. But don't expect a $30 million coaster at a park like Michigan's Adventure, expect like an $8 million coaster. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one, bye.